Hello, hello my friends, and welcome back to Tiny Town. Welcome back to City Skylines 2. So I want to stop messing around. I want to get our little lumber. Maybe I'll do it over here, because we've already got a little highway coming out here. Yeah, you know what? We've got trees here. Why don't we do this? we we'll make use of this space. We would be irresponsible not to. I can do something simple. Simpler than I've done over here with the giant tiny oil factories. Also, before we get started, let's just put in a couple jobs over here of the office variety. Just because somebody needs to be doing something administrative administrative for these businesses out here, I'm sure. Doesn't even look like we need that many. Look at that. That demand immediately just vanished. Good. All right, I'm going to do something similar to what we did over here with the countryside, but I'm going to do it a little bit more. Just a little bit more. <laughs> if that makes sense. A little bit more organized. Let me do 100 there. This is probably way too big. Is that way too big? That's going to be way, way too big. Hmm. You know what? We'll see if we can make this work. Try to get a, a real one to place so we're not dealing with the ghost lumber yard. I'm just going to place these in a way that feels like they overlap. Hopefully that will fit the whole square. I think it will. Oh yeah, we're gonna need pipes and stuff. And then we'll hook it up to the main area as well. Let's get a road. What kind of road do we need? I'm thinking, yeah, right off the little intersection here. Not even a big one. In fact, we could probably just use a highway here. No, you don't want that. Okay, I'll put you over somewhere else then. That's actually strange. Why doesn't it want that? It does something to that corner that is not... We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. No, you stop interrupting the program. I am busy. I'm gonna do that. Maybe we do two lanes out there, two lanes in here. Those are terrible looking. You know what? Stop being lazy. Do something good. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Does that bring power? Probably not, because I think we need to bring power through here. I think we should. I'm going to buy this tile just so that we can do that. Just so we can upgrade this highway with lights and power and all that good stuff. Is that all upgraded? Let's see. Get those. There we go. Good enough for me. Good enough to bring power out here. Fantastic. All right, let's get these expanded so that we can say that we've got a lumber industry. And thankfully, that's one less thing that we need to be concerned about. This will just take a little bit of time. I'm going to move these as close to the center as I can. We can always adjust if we need to. Probably gonna put some tiny housing in this area as well. I don't think I'm gonna put the little oak tree barriers in. I think I can just leave this the way that it will be. See how this fills in. Maybe we need to bring up the... Yeah, that makes it a little bit easier to see what we're doing here. So this is already more full than I thought it was, which is great. That means that we're not going to have a gap. And this should hopefully keep our lumber industry going for forever, basically. There we go. That's perfect. Beautiful. Yeah, that's going to be massive surplus. So we get some houses in down here, just some little ones. Keep them spread out. Put in all the NA houses first and they'll go in and they'll fill in a few gaps with some EU housing. This will just give us a little bit of variety out here in this little square out in the middle of nowhere. I think that's pretty cool. These people will probably be the ones that work out here. We'll see. You know what? We might even tuck a couple little... Tuck a few offices out here. Just say they're the ones that belong to these little lumber companies. Sure, why not? Oh, we should probably put a couple little stores out here. 
just a little convenience stores so that the people that live out here don't have to drive to the city to get milk and bread. There we go. I think that's going to look really cool. We'll let people park here. That's fine. This road's fine for industrial use, I think. I don't think it takes too much away from the tiny... What's the word that I'm looking for? The, the tiny charm, the rustic charm of Tiny Town. <laughs> this kind of just stands out on its own as well. Is that an office? Boot and bug? What do you guys do? Software. Sure, why not? So all of our lumber's gonna come from here. Good. Done. That's one more industry complete. Now just our rock and stone. And that's all dug up over here, I think. And we've got one even closer. Which way does the wind blow? Blows out this way, right? Yeah. So I'm just going to draw small roads out here. Probably not going to use it all. Got to find a way up there. Mm -hmm. Trying to think if there's an interesting or cool way to do this. Maybe plop a roundabout down here. And we got to find a way up. How about that? Now we need a way back. Oh, it's the power lines that are in the way. Oh, wait a minute. Billy. doing. This is possibly the worst thing I've ever done. I've accidentally deleted a wire. That's great. That's going to knock out the power. Do I like that or do I hate that? I mean, it's safe, but it's bad. It's ugly. Oh, it's ugly. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. No, sorry. Too ugly. Now we're looking at something that maybe will work. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with carving out part of the mountain, putting in a little bit of a tunnel. Actually, am I okay with that? No, I don't like this. I hate how this looks. I hate everything about this. Let me see what we can do here. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Why are they not even? There we go. Now that feels much nicer. That looks much cooler. And then it's just up here that we need to really tidy up. Hello, can I just put that right in the middle? Well... Come on now. Oh, I see. What do you mean overlapping item? Overlapping with what? This is an absolute travesty. Okay then. Cool. Now ideally you don't have to walk. Well, that's gonna make these roads probably pretty busy. Now we'll see how this works. We'll see how this works. Coal. Minerals. Honestly, rock can go pretty much anywhere. Rock. Oh, beautiful. This is going to be great. I do kind of like the idea of getting some of these giant mining rigs in the side of this cliff, if it will. You mean invalid shape? We got one of them. That's pretty cool. Oh, we don't have any power or any of the good stuff. Let's get these lights set up here so we can bring power down. Alright, power. Good. Plumbing now. Good. Now something tells me that I'm not going to have to do much to maximize these industries. Tiny bit of work here. We should be able to get enough of each of these with probably just one. Yeah, big enough to get the big things in. Tiny towns, big machinery. Cool. I bet that's enough.
offices out here just so that these businesses here have some stuff going on. And I'm thinking maybe over here we have some people that live here. They work out here. Sure. Look at this thing on the road. That is not fair. Don't do that. Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted to see. Beautiful. Beautiful. And how do our numbers look? We are now at a surplus of pretty much everything. We might need to think about more metal ore, but for now I think we're fine. There we go. Tiny industry. Done. Now what? How's our tiny waterfront looking? Pretty good. What's going on here? This building's been condemned. I don't know why. What I might do is maybe put a little bit of... Maybe we build a small town out here around this. A really small one, though. I don't think I'm even going to pack it up full, but we'll see. Oh, didn't attach those roads. They work better whenever they're connected. Yeah, this should be fun. We got a little bit of demand out here. So what I want it to do is maybe get a little bit bigger as it moves away from the lumber core. I actually don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. This is all on a whim. I haven't put a lot of thought into how tiny lumber is going to work out here. But I figure there's probably a lot of jobs. Why not get a few more people living out here? some little parks out here too. It'll be interesting to see how a little town has cropped up around this industry out here. It's a lucrative industry. It's making us lots of money so people want to move out here. They want to live by the lumber yards. It's a good place to start a career. Maybe. Is it? Let's see how much money this industry makes us. It's got a massive surplus. Timber. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's decent. I wonder if this part of town... Ooh, what's happened here? See, now here's an issue. These little stop signs maybe aren't quite doing the work that we need them to. Maybe advanced split phasing. Maybe vanilla. I don't know what this truck's doing. You are breaking the laws. You know what? I might get rid of this crosswalk. And... Actually, maybe we get rid of crosswalks here. Maybe this solves our issue. We get rid of the crosswalks we put back in the stop sign. This parking lot is the issue. People need to get in and out of this parking lot. Very interesting. We should probably put more parking lots. Maybe not. Maybe we have enough of those. Yeah, I don't know what my plan is for out here. Any lumber's getting a little bit busy. Is that good? Is that bad? Don't know. Doesn't look too bad. Alright. What, what have we not unlocked yet that could be beneficial? The university? Yeah, you know, we don't really have that much of a population. I don't know how many people we need at the university yet. We could get a tiny airport. Ooh, a tiny international airport? Tiny space center? I almost think that we want to get cargo trains running out here as well. Alright, we're gonna lose some businesses to, to this cargo. Fit it in there. Run it next to this highway, I wonder. Mm, this might not work. I might have made it just a little bit too long here.
This one, I think I'm going to run it over the... Oops, that's way too close. A forest fire is in progress. No kidding. Why is this not attached? Is that okay? <laughs> is everything set up now? I probably need another... one of those in there. Pathfinding failed. What? Oh, of course. Why would this have just worked? What the heck? <laughs> what even is the issue here? So there's a cargo route. Can we change that? Change the color? Alright, well, the first route that we made doesn't even get used. The second one might. I don't know what's going on over here. A fire? Sick. Look at all this mining that's happening. Good stuff. Shame about the fire. Is it still burning? No, it's burned down. I'm waiting for a hearse. Well, that's not good. I guess we'll wait and see if any cargo trains ever go anywhere. Oh, are these not connected to the rail yard, maybe? No, there go some cargo trains. Wait. This is a cargo train terminal. Did I hook that up there instead of to this? That's funny. I mean, I guess... Oh, no, wait, that is right. The cargo train terminal. Right. No, I did I did that right. Well, we might see an influx of trucks trying to fill up these cargo train stations. Right now, this one just has wood. The other cool thing that we could do... Actually, that is connected. I was going to say we could connect that up to the external rail network, and maybe we do our exports that way, but it looks like we already do. So that's great. We're actually making so much money here. I almost want to leave this little heart of Tiny Town the way it is and build a tiny circle city around this lake. But I can't afford it. So we're going to have to wait until we get at least one upgrade here. So in the meantime, I wonder what do we do now that we've got all of our industry set up, producing massive surplus. What do we need? There's demand for a little bit of everything. Maybe we just work on our tiny waterfront a little bit. I wish I could go in with Move It and turn these into curves. Make these roads work nice. They're probably fine the way they are. Look at our tiny large apartments. The tiny waterfront's starting to look pretty good. I don't even think it needs anything else right now. Oh, also, I think I fixed this. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. The more weird being able to place multiple of a thing. So it turns out Plopable Rico added another mod as well. And that's what was causing all the extra nonsense. Oh yeah, we were building this little place too. Those are offices. That's, that's cool. I don't remember what I was doing out here, so I'm just going to start sticking houses in. Why not? I guess we could add more on the other side. This was just meant to be a tiny little residential area. That's what this was. This was tiny residential. Like a little residential area that just exists out behind the waterfront. I remember now. I remember everything. Yeah, I'm willing to sacrifice some buildings here. Oh, we've got funky grids. Before we completely engulf this, let's make sure that we've put in the extra buildings that this thing wants. Why is whatever I'm doing causing those buildings to become abandoned? What a mystery. Honestly, really like this area. Any waterfront suburbs are my favorite. These are going to look great once we're done here. I hope these are going to look cool. I 
your house is too big. Forbidden house. I like the little bit of freedom that we've given Tiny Town. It's not just the style that we initially established at the start. We've given a little bit of creative flux here. A little bit of diversity in design. Keep things interesting. Oh, you know what? I meant to put in some of these and I didn't. Little corner stores. I guess we can always cram one in somewhere that there's a house. Put one there. Yeah, take somebody's house. Sorry about that. Some corner shops in. Maybe the occasional big business replaces a house. Occasional slightly larger apartment building? Why not? Just to spice things up a little bit. Keep this neighborhood a little bit dynamic. I'm liking this. You can't even see some of the areas. Tiny lumber. Tiny lumber just blends in with the trees. You can barely even see that it's here. How's this place going now? It's starting to fill up with cargo. That's good. How are the other areas going that require cargo? a truck out here. How's our little landfill doing? Did we, we got rid of it. Where did we put it? Oh, we put in a... Oh, right. We put in this incineration plant, which seems to be doing quite all right for us, making 5.4 megawatts of power. Are we exporting that? Are we utilizing it? No, we still import power. Why is that? Oh, I guess that doesn't really produce that much. Fair enough. I guess we don't make that much garbage. We could probably put in a small coal plant and that would make up a lot of the deficit that we have here, but buying electricity isn't really that bad. What kind of better power could we be using here? Gas? Geothermal. Interesting. A little geothermal plant. Or a little hydroelectric. I don't know where we would build it. Yeah, I don't I don't want to fuss with that right now. Generated from heat drawn from deep underground. Can we afford it? We make a million dollars a year. A month even. No groundwater. Right. That's what this uses. Now there's some interesting options here. Could bring big industry out here to the lumber. Let's do it. Maybe this will be a reason for us to think about... We could build more power lines. Think about why we would expand this area. I am going to build large power lines. Because I like how they look. Binary cycle. Use lower geothermal temperatures, increase power output. Interesting. I'll think about it. Additional turbine. Well, now that's... that just sounds like fun. Alright, we're probably selling that now. Oh, wow, we are running out of money. Okay. Alright, we're exporting. We'll see what we can do to make this more efficient. At some point, I'd like to think about where we can start thinking about lowering our taxes even further. Can we afford to do that? Let's bring electronics to Tiny Town. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm doing most of the time when I'm looking at this. I'm turn down recreation. Tax. Turn down the meals tax. Maybe we get more restaurants. I don't know. How's our lumber operation going? It's hard to tell. I guess you do get to see these little guys going. These little harvesters. And forwarder, forwarders. Oh yeah, look at this. You get to see little tree stumps. Good. That's cool. We know it's working. The housing market stinks. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't think about it. Oh, I just realized our trams can't just turn around here, can they? What if we just turned... What if we just did this? No, that's not the line. Tram. Where is it? Tram. What if we just did that? I don't know if it needs to. I don't think it'll do anything. Yeah, the little occasional apartment building, I think, looks nice out here. Right, parks. I was going to put some parks out here, too. Small park. Small playground. Somebody lost a house for that. That's okay. Somewhere to take your dog. 
All right, people out here are pretty happy. This is a nice little quiet part of town. How do you get here again? You take this road here, off the waterfront. Okay, yeah, that's fine. What are all these lumps? No, I guess this is just not as deep. That's fine. These trams are so loud. It's startling, even. I almost want to start replacing some of these with offices. Just to mix it up a little bit, because the variety here is hideous. There we go, some tiny offices for a tiny little industrial district over here. Mixes it up a little bit from above, ever so slightly. Most of it's just gaps they haven't quite built in yet. This little plant's doing its best. High crime is currently an issue. Let's see. Yes, I understand. There's a lot of crime out here in the industrial areas. A few little police departments down. They'll take care of any of the riffraff out there. There's a tornado. Leave us alone. Go away. Get out of here. How are people feeling now? A little bit happier? High taxes. Yeah, you're right. We're working on it. We're working on fixing our tax issue. Don't you worry. Look at all these little oil rigs all set up. Look at them. This one especially. Wow, we are pumping oil out here. So how do I know when this is out of oil? Yes. I don't know. I actually don't know. Do we have anywhere else here along here that we can start zoning a little bit more of the large buildings? Sure. Let's do a couple here. I think we filled in most of the most of the gaps that we were leaving. There's a few over here, and looks like we never zoned. I can't remember if it was intentional or not. Oh, there we go. Small city. That's what I was waiting for. All right, you know what that means. It's time for us to start planning for Tiny Circle City, which means we're going to buy these nine. I'm going to circular out that. <laughs> I'm going to make that more circular. That lake there, we're going to make it rounder. Don't you worry. Oh, we've got too many. Let's get rid of that. Actually, let's keep that. Let's get rid of that. So the one thing that I want to do before we begin is I want to take this lake here. Is that too much? Maybe that is too much. You know what? Let's... Hopefully we don't destroy wherever the lake's spawn point was. Yeah, we'll do that. We will do that, and then we will put... Oh, now here's where things are going to get complicated. Can we get all the way across here? I was thinking I might need to utilize a anarchy. Oh, no you don't. Don't you do that to me. might actually change this from this tiny road, from this tiny alley to actually be something that we are going to have cars able to function on. You weird underwater trees. Where this lake didn't used to actually be. I'd delete as many of them as I can. There you go. Spam our mouse around here and see if we can find any more trees. There's a lot of them still. Secret underwater trees. Yeah, look at them all. I can see them, actually. Starting to develop tree vision. I can see the trees if I look closely. Uh-oh. Stopped selecting the trees. There we go. I have to delete one outside. Yeah, I think I need to make sure that this is actually going to be big enough to sustain something. Do we go in or out? We go in. I think we make the key wall. A little bit cleaner. Yeah, but what have I done? Have I gotten rid of the zoning? Yeah, I've lost the zoning on the outside. How do we fix that? Hmm. Hang on now. What if we go bigger? Does that fix the zoning? Yes. 
Okay. Do we leave that, or do we try to make it small again and keep the zoning? Now we lose the zoning. Does it come back? Oh no. Oh, I fixed it. You know what? I think I stop messing with it before I make things worse. There we go, the start of Tiny Circle City. But I think I'm gonna leave that for next time. And this will be the first time Circle City has had a lake in the middle. I've always wanted to do it. I think it looks so cool. And now it's finally going to happen. But not today. Tiny Circle City will begin next time. But for now, thank you so much for joining me. And thank you for being a part of our tiny little city. It's more of a tiny region at this point. Where we've got little tiny city segments. Tiny towns. Multiple towns. Tiny waterfront is basically its own town. Tiny waterfront residential. It's basically its own little town. We are tiny industries out here, although they're quite massive. Tiny lumber <laughs> with our tiny geothermal plant. <laughs> it's not tiny at all. Makes a little bit of energy for the city. That's for sure. All right, if you've enjoyed this, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button to leave a like on this video. Every little bit helps and it's always appreciated. Leave a little comment. Let me know what you think so far. Tiny towns, tiny cities, whatever you want to call this region at this point. I'm not even sure because there's so much going on. If you really enjoyed this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, so you can find it anytime new Tiny Town content gets posted. Alright, thank you so much for joining me, thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate you being here, and I hope you've had a good time, and I hope I see you again soon. Goodbye for now.